Yo, what's going on, guys? It's Houston Sports Talk back in another video today. And the Houston Astros lost in the opening game of a three game series to the unstoppable Tampa Bay Rays today, 8 to 3. As the Rays are now 20 and 3 on the season. I mean, God, no one can stop them. And at first, you know, when they started off really good, I think they were, were they? Um, were they? 9 and 0, 11 and 0, whatever. 10 and I think they were like 10 and 0 or 11 and 0 or 12 and 0, whatever they were. Everybody was saying, oh, they're facing such easy opponents. But now they're actually kind of playing good against good opponents. And they did that against the Astros today. Got the win 8 to 3. Just killed us in the hitting department. Got 14 hits today as a team. And after the third inning, they were just dominant. I mean, scored, what, four runs in the third inning. Had. Uh, two between the second and sixth and the seventh, and then after the third, the Astros offense just vanished in this game. So just tough game for the Astros today. They lose three to eight. Um, six hits for the Astros, fourteen for the for the Rays. Zero errors in this ball game. One goes to Bradley. Went five. He's three zero in the season now. Five innings, three earned runs, six strikeouts, zero walks. Loss goes to Yurkiti. One and two on the season. He went horrible outing, 2.2 2. 2 innings pitch, 6 earned runs, 3 strikeouts, 2 walks. Scoring summary, Astros scored the two first runs of the game in the first inning, strike first. Tucker hit sacrifice, fly to left. Dubon scored Tucker's 18th RBI of the season. Then Bregman hits his second home run of the season, home run to left center, 386 feet, 2-0 Astros. But, I mean, the Rays say, okay, you got some first inning two runs, we got some first inning two runs too. Rosarena tripled to left. Franco scored two to one. Then Ramirez hit a ground rule double. Rosarena scored two two. But then the Astros strike back again. Pena home run to center, four hundred thirty two feet, three to two Astros. But then the Rays, a third dominant third inning, tie it up in the third inning. Rosarena hit a sacrifice fly to right. Diaz scored Franco to third, three to three. Then Josh Lowe reached on infield single to second. Franco scored Pot P Paredes to second. Ramirez to third, 3-4. Then Bethancourt singled to center. Parehi scored. Ramirez scored. Josh Lowe to third, 6-3. Th then in the sixth inning, Parehi singled to left. Rosarena scored. Ramirez to second. That's 7-3. Then Franco singled to center. Bethancourt scored. And Diaz to second, 8-3. Let's go over the batting for the Astros today. Dubon kept a hitting streak alive. What is that, 18 or 17 now? I think it's 17. No, it might be 18 for Dubon. He got it off early today. Uh, last couple games, it's been a little iffy, thinking like maybe that streak might be over, but he got it. He got it, He got that streak going early tonight. Uh, and so early that the Astros were able to get some runs on the board. First inning, triple to center. First Astros triple the season. He scored a run in that inning with Tucker's sacrifice fly later in that inning. And besides that, he was one for four, though. Jeremy Pino hit a home run to center in this game in the third inning, but was one for four. Kyle Tucker was 0 for two in this game with his RBI sacrifice fly and a walk in the eighth. So Tucker was 0 for two. Bregman was two for four. Uh, today and he doubled to right in the sixth inning and had the home run in the first inning so pretty nice outing by Bregman Jose Abreu who was one for four with a single in the first and then Corey Jokes was 0 for four Yanner Diaz was 0 for four Jake Myers was one for two hit by pitch in the second inning and doubled in the seventh inning he's been on fire recently batting average all the way up to 286 Myers has played the best he has in the last you know, not only all year this season, but even, you know, back to last year. So it's really good to see Jake hitting like this. And Maldonado was 0 for 3, of course. All right, rest of the pitching for the Astros. Three other pitchers pitched for the Astros today. Um, Martinez finished the third inning for Yurkidi and then played another two. So he finished the third inning, then pitched the fourth and fifth. So 2.1. Gave up one hit, two walks, four strikeouts. So decent outing by Seth Martinez. Then Stanek pitched the seventh inning, and it was a little bit of a struggle for him when they gave when he gave up. Earned, that was when Franco hit the RBI single, and Seth Martinez did when he was out there. They did give up a run, but it went to Yurkiti because he, the man that was on base was left on it by him, of course. But 
Um, Stanek in the seventh inning did give up that final run. Two hits. Give up two hits. Or no, 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 no. No, no. Stanek, that was in the sixth inning. He gave up the run in the sixth inning. Martinez didn't give up anything, actually. Um, and neither did your Kitty of so so Stanek did give up that six inning Parehi single and that was he so he pitched the sixth inning and gave it two hits, one earned run, one walk, one strikeout. Then Blanco pitched the eighth and ninth inning for the Astros and no, not the eighth and ninth inning, that's the seventh and the eighth inning because the Astros didn't pitch in the ninth inning today. Got me confused a little bit because I forgot the Astros didn't pitch in the ninth inning today because they're on the road. Um, so two innings for Blanco. Give four hits, one earned run, and three strikeouts. So not the greatest pitching today by the Astros. I mean, the bullpen over the last kind of you know, last kind of games have been really nice, and tonight they were awful. Gave up seven hits, and the starter Yurkiti gave up seven as well. So. Just really bad night for the Astros. Hope the Astros can get back at it tomorrow. And I'm not going to say win it because I don't know if we can beat these guys right now. Because the Astros, and I'm not going to say we can't beat these guys because we just beat the crap out of the Braves. But these guys in at home are unstoppable. They're, what, 14 and 0 at 13 and 0 at home? They're unbeatable at home. So that's why I don't know if we can beat these guys. They're hitting like crazy at home. I mean, they're scoring. At least seven, and this is just by average. They're scoring at least seven or more runs per game at home. So they are. we have to out-hit them if we're going to beat them at home, in my opinion. Or we're going to have to just have a dominate, a dominating pitching performance. So I don't know if we can beat these guys on the road, but I don't know. And and I'm not saying that these guys are better than us because I don't think they are at all. We Number one, we didn't have Jordan on the night. We still don't have Altuve, apparently. I don't think these guys, and your kitty was also on the mound tonight. I don't think these guys were better than us, but right now they are better than us. When it comes September or even or, or even maybe June, July, the, I, don't, I still don't think these guys will be better than us. But right now, as a second, these guys are better than us, and they're hitting better than us. So I don't know if we can beat them in a three-game series. I think we could beat them at least once, maybe, uh, which will be crazy because then we'll stop, like, you know, their 15-0 and streak at home. Um but yeah, and I'm not trying to be a negative Astros fan at all. It's just these guys are really freaking good at home, and I'm giving them a compliment. But um, hopefully the Astros can hit better and definitely pitch better, and and we'll see. Um, that's it for the video. If you guys enjoyed, any thoughts and peace out. Go Astros.